Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of CPUs, but not the traditional x86ones you find in most laptops and desktops. We're talking about ARM architecture, the powerhouse behind your smartphones, tablets, and even the latest MacBooks. But is ARM really better than x86? Let's break down the pros and cons. What is ARM architecture? ARM stands for Advanced Risk Machine, and it's based on a reduced instruction set computing, RISC, design. Unlike x86, which uses complex instruction set computing, CISC, ARM focuses on simplicity and efficiency, executing fewer but more optimized instructions per cycle. First, get started about pros of ARM architecture. First, power efficiency. ARM chips are incredibly power efficient. That's why your smartphone can last all day on a single charge. Companies like Apple have taken this to the next level with their M-series chips, offering laptop-level performance with minimal heat and battery drain. Second, scalability and customization. ARM is highly customizable. Companies like Apple, Qualcomm, and Samsung can design their own cores and optimize them for specific tasks. This flexibility allows for better performance in specialized devices, from tiny IoT sensors to high-end servers. Third, thermal efficiency. Since ARM chips generate less heat, they don't need massive cooling solutions. That's why fanless tablets and ultra-thin laptops like the MacBook Air can run silently without overheating. Four, future-proofing and industry shift. The tech industry is shifting towards ARM. Apple's transition from Intel to their own silicon proves that ARM can compete with x86 in performance. Even Microsoft and Google are pushing ARM-based Windows and Chromebooks. Okay, now we talk about cons of ARM architecture. First, software compatibility. The biggest downside? Software support. Many apps, especially professional tools like Adobe Premiere or Games, are optimized for x86. While emulation helps, like Rosetta 2 on Mac, it's not always perfect and can impact performance. Second limited high-performance options. ARM is catching up, but x86 still dominates in raw power for workstations and gaming PCs. High core count ARM chips for servers exist, but they're not as widespread as Intel Xeon or AMD EPYC. Third fragmentation. Because ARM licenses its designs to multiple manufacturers, there's no universal standard. A Snapdragon chip works differently than an Apple M2, leading to inconsistent performance across devices. Fourth, upfront development costs. Designing custom ARM chips, like Apple does, is expensive. Most companies rely on off-the-shelf designs, which limits innovation unless you're a tech giant with deep pockets. Here the final, what I thought about this CPU ARM architecture. So, is ARM better than x86? It depends. For battery life, portability, and efficiency, ARM is a winner. But if you need maximum compatibility and raw power, x86 still has the edge, for now. The future is exciting, though, with ARM making huge leaps in performance. What do you think? Are you Team ARM or Team x86? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech breakdowns. See you in the next one.